Hi, my name is Ashley Hernandez, and today I'd like to show you some of the top new features in Blacklight 2018 R2. As you can see, I've entered into our case, and what you'll notice right away is on the left-hand side, you'll now see the number badges assigned to each volume. So here I have an APFS device, and I also have an NPFS disk, and all of these different volumes have now their own identifier next to them. And how that is used is so that we can, in the browser or any of these other modes, be able to see across the different devices together in the same view. In addition to using the main areas to look for items of interest, we can also filter across multiple devices by selecting them and then choosing to run our filter. When we use the filter, we're going to see those badges again show up on the left-hand side matching the number so that if they are mixed among the different items, you're going to be able to see the badge number associated with each item on the far left. So that's the first new feature that we're really excited to share. Next is an option when you're actually adding evidence to be able to see Spotlight data. So I'm going to add an evidence file and here we're going to go ahead and add an image. And new under our advanced options is the option to parse for spotlight data. Now, I'm actually not going to run this here. I'm going to go ahead and jump in and look at some of our APFS devices that have spotlight data. So I'm going to go and Look in here for items that may have things like pictures or other documents. So here I can select a picture and Spotlight Metadata is now available on the Metadata tab. In addition for browsing for metadata, you can also filter for either Spotlight fields uh, that you know you wanna look for or a metadata value. For Spotlight, they're located here, Spotlight Field, Spotlight Value, and it will work also in conjunction with the two if you want to find a specific field with a specific value. In addition to Spotlight metadata, we have also added the ability to look for NTFS ACL data. So here I'm going to look at a directory or a file, and you'll now see the access control information displayed down below in the metadata section. The final feature that I'd like to show you, I'm gonna first point out where to activate this feature, which is under Blacklight Preferences. We've done some improvements to email, and one of the improvements that we've done is adding the ability to create previews, i.e. the pretty view that you would see that looks similar to how you would see the email in the mail app as hyperlinks in the report. It does take a little longer to generate these, that's why this is an option, um, but if you go into your Blacklight Preferences and select Report, you can choose to create previews for tagged email. I've already tagged two email items here, and I'm going to go ahead and go to the report. And I'm gonna to choose to enable those tagged items. In my report, I'm gonna still see the metadata and then the body of the email. And down below, we are going to now see a new hyperlink that is going to indicate the preview is available since I've enabled it for this report. So I'm going to generate this report so we can see what the preview looks like. So I'm gonna open it, go to my tagged items, scrolling down, I'm going to find the preview, and now you'll be able to see not just the text view, but also the preview view for each of the emails that you choose to include the previews for. So that's a highlight of just some of the new features in Blacklight 2018 R2. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to reach out, on, out to us on social media. That would be Facebook, Twitter, uh, or LinkedIn, and we'll be happy to hear your suggestions, and we hope you enjoy the new functionality in Blacklight 2018 R2. Thank you.